Hey, good day. Mike Mata here. We're going to talk about subnetting and binary and hex and what I call finger netting. So if you look at my diagram and I am not an artist, I tried to draw four fingers, but you know, again, I'm not an artist. So take that with a grain of salt. Look at that, if you will, on the left side is your left hand, four fingers up, turn your thumbs in. On the right side is your right hand. Again, four fingers up, turn your thumb in. There are four bits to a nibble and eight bits to a bite. And so we can see them represented graphically with your fingers. If you were to write on them, as I did there in red, one, two, four, eight on the right side, we can see, you know, one, two, four, eight on the right side and one, two, four, eight on the left side. That would be the equivalent of what those fingers, if you will, or values would be in hex. So I gave you there in red hex C2. So think about that byte C2 says on the left hand, we always start with the most significant nibble I do anyway the most significant nibble, C. And how do we get C, which is 12 in decimal? Well, we would add the eight finger plus the four finger, that would be 12. And so you see I have one, one there. There's our two binary. Those two fingers would be up. And then the other two fingers, the two and the one, would be down, eight, four, 12, or C in hex. And then on the right hand, you can see I have the 0, 0, 1, the 2 bit would be on, and then the 1 bit would be down. So in binary, that number C2 would be 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. Okay, if you get that, life is going to be simple. The first step of this, if you don't understand the C, where we get the actual letter numbers from, Think about pick a hand, any hand, kind of like playing blackjack. So if we look at the right hand, if we start on the right hand, 1 plus 2 is 3. Well, that's the same in decimal or hex. 1 plus 2 plus 4 is 7. Again, that's the same decimal or hex. But let's say now we go to the 8 bit and we add the 2. 8 plus 2 is 10. Well, that's two digits, and we can't have two digits that represent that hand. So, 8 plus 2 then becomes A, the letter A. 8 plus 2 plus 1 becomes the letter B. 8 plus 2, let's see if we can draw here. Again, I'm not very good. So, 8 plus, oh, that's the wrong color. Dang it. Hang on. Okay, so if we see there, 8 plus 2 equals 10, but again, we can't have two digits, so 8 plus 2 would be A, and then 8 plus 3 would be B, 8 plus 4 would be C, 8 plus 5 right, D, you get it, 8 plus 6, E, and then 8 plus 7, or basically all the bits on, would be F. So that would be, you know, all the bits turned on would be F on that hand, and if we add 1 to F, then that becomes hex 10, or now we move over 1, and the 1 on the most significant nibble comes on, and then all those other four fingers lay down. So if we again just look at the hex C2, we have the 1 bit, the 8, sorry, the 8 bit here. So the 8 bit is on. There's our, you know, 8 plus 4 is uh, 12, and that's where we get the C from if we were going to continue. And then again, that's it. We're done with that nibble. That's why I have the line there. And then the 2, so we have the 0 the 0, the 1, and the 0, and that's where we get the 2, C2. We add up all those in now decimal, 128 plus 64. So again, we, we see that there, 128 plus 64. That's our 
8 and 4, C, and then plus the 2, and that's where we get the decimal of 194. 128 plus 64 is 192, plus 2, 194, and now we have the binary, the decimal, and the hex values for all of that. And why that's important is when we start getting into subnetting and decoding frames, the information, the bits that are on in packets. So we're going to do that here. We're going to get into the subnetting portion of this and how I use my fingers to do subnetting very quickly. So hang on. So let's say that we had a mask of 255.255.240.0. Well, the 255s should be easy enough. Again, 255 says we have all of these bits on. 1, 2, 4, 8, and then 8, 4, 2, 1. Think about it. if we add all that up, 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1, that equals 255. So that means all of those bits are on. So the, really the only one we care about is this one right here, this 240, something that's not 255. 255 says all of the bits are on and that's easy. So how do we come up with 240? So to get 240, if we were to put a bit, turn this bit on, um, the 128 bit plus the 64 bit, 192 plus the 32 bit 224 plus the 16 bit there's 240 and then all of these bits would be zero they would be off that would be zero that would be zero that would be zero and then that would be zero because all those bits would be off so if we were having our fingers up we'd have our left hand all those bits on and the right hand all of those bits off and that's where we would get the 240 from. And that's what we're going to use, those four bits, to compare numbers. So, okay, let's uh, make sure you get that. Again, how do I get this 240 number? Because this is the secret of figuring out masking. 240 says we're going to use the decimal of these numbers to come up with that, because this is dotted decimal notation. So that bit, 128, oh, we start from the left most significant bit. So 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 equals our number of 240. So there are the bits that are on that we're going to use to start comparing um, addresses and whatnot when we start doing subnet masking. But this is how we come up with that number that dotted decimal number and check out my next video which we're going to start breaking this down in to come up with subnets and how do we determine subnets etc but this is how we come up with the binary decimal hex and then convert that into decimal to come up with dotted decimal notation for masks check you out on the next video